Welcome to Red Bluff Battle Reports. This is Jeffrey's Custodes bringing a patrol detachment, shield host, Aculon Shield. In this detachment, we'll be bringing as Warlord, shield captain on jet bike. Uh, he's going to have the relic Auric Achilles, which is the 3 up invul bike that rerolls charges. Also giving him the Captain Commander trait, Indomitable Constitution, extra two wounds, as well as the 5-up Feel No Pain Warlord trait, Superior Creation. Uh, Trajan Valoris is also going to be showing up uh, this Sunday, bringing Inquisitor, Inquisitor Cortez. Also spending 2 CP and 100 points and bringing one of these four assassins. For troop choice, we're going to be bringing two three-man units of Sagittarium Guard. For an elite choice, we are being, bringing the Vexilla Praetor, bringing the minus one to hit banner. I spent one CP to give him the uh, shield host relic, the Presidious Shield, which is a minus one to wound. I also spent one CP to give him 10,000 heroes, uh, warlord trait, uh, revered champion, which halves damage incoming. Uh, for fast attack, we'll be bringing our four Virtus Praetors with the Meltas. Also for fast attack, we'll be bringing four Venatari as well, because they are awesome. First time on the show, we'll be bringing in the Ares gunship and seeing what it can do. Look forward to the battle Sunday against the Wolves. Have a good one. So there was a points update today. Jeff noticed that... Uh, he had to end up dropping the assassin, added a bike, and took off some Miser Cordias in order to make his list work based on the new points values that GW released today. So those are going to be a few changes to his list that you'll see, and we look forward to seeing you guys this Sunday. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. This is Zach with Red Bluff Battle Reports. Going to go over my 2,000 points of Space Wolves. For this Sunday's match against Jeff and his Custodes. So right up front here we've got a Wolf Lord on Thunderwolf. He's going to be upgraded to a Chapter Master. He's going to have the Angel Artifice. And two Warlord traits. Hunter and Iron Resolve. He is going to have the Storm Shield and Thunder Hammer as well. So he's going to be adding one to his Advance and Charge rolls. He's going to have an additional two wounds. And an extra toughness thanks to the Angel Artifice and Iron Resolve and a 6-up Feel No Pain. Right behind him, we've got a unit of 5 Incursors and two units of 5 Assault Intercessors. They're all going to be base, so no mines and no additional weapons on the Assault Intercessor pack leaders. The Assault Intercessors are going to be rolling around on a couple Impulsors. So they're going to be what you see is what you get as well. You're going to have the Iron Hell Sky Talon Array, the Heavy Stubber, and the Fragstorm Grenade Launchers. Along with the Assault Intercessors, you got a couple characters with them. A Rune Priest, who's going to be upgraded to a Chief Librarian. He's going to have the Toma Malkador and the his Warlord Trade of Psychic Mastery. Four spells for him, Null Zone, Instincts Awoken, Murderous Hurricane, and Tempest, Tempest's Wrath. And next to him is the Wolf Priest, and he's going to be upgraded to the Master of Sanctity, so he'll have Exhortation of Rage and Canicle of Hate. His Warlord trait is going to be Wise Order, and of course he's going to have the Vox of Spiritum. Right below them is the Redemptor Dreadnought with the Plasma Incinerator, an Underslung Ga Onslaught Gatling Cannon, an Icarus Rocket Pod, and Fragstorm Grenade Launchers. We're also going to have a unit of Six Fenrisian Wolves and five Thunderwolf Cavalry. Four with Power Axes and Storm Shields and the Pack Leader with a Thunder Hammer Storm Shield. And we will also be having five Wolfen, two with Fenrisian Great Axes, two with Thunder Hammer Storm Shield, and they will be rolling around in a Storm Wolf with two Melta Rays. So that's going to be 2,000 points of Space Wolves for this Sunday's match. We will be playing on this mat with this terrain. So it'll be the return of the Space Wolves base. And we hope to see you on February 7th at noon. Thanks.